Hey everyone, Rob Rendered here. I'm gonna be talking about everything to do with body, mind, and uh, uh, you know, the truth. And when you find the truth, it will set you free. So, camera might be a little bit shaky. I've just been working out, doing bear walks and you know, uh, crocodile walks and all that stuff. And <clears throat> it's a bit of a tough workout. I'm just gonna go for a run. Uh, I just wanted to explain something today that's pretty cool. It'll affect you for 100%. Even if you're a psychopath, um, there's a reason why I'm going to say that. So, we'll be talking about. Uh, I had a client uh, this week who came to see me. He's uh, like in his 30s, computer software engineer, very, very intelligent, very logical. And he uh, came to me sort of around the theme of father son, a lot of anger and resentment towards his father. And uh, the main kind of trigger event was um, he listened to a podcast around the father-son theme and burst into tears when he listened to it. And every time he thinks about this podcast, he bursts into tears. And uh, I'm just about to hit someone who's walking straight in front of me. And uh, yeah, burst. So the, anytime he thinks about the podcast, he bursts into tears. And so when he told me about the podcast, he burst into tears and it was very difficult for him uh, to cry in front of another man. So, um, so I, I looked for the primary weakness, which is fundamentally what is the truth to the situation? What's the number one thing affecting him? And it was, he was empathizing with the guy, or oh, guys, no, it's the guy on the podcast. I told him that, he didn't get it, he didn't understand. Um, so I explained in a computer analogy. It's a little bit like team viewer. You know, you go on someone else's computer and in doing so, you accidentally download the, some of the files on their computer. And because they're their computer files and they're on your computer, you run them as though they're your own. Number one, that screws up your computer. Number two, it confuses you because you don't understand, well, in his case, why he's crying so much. So I told him that. That was enough. I told him the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth instantly resolves things. Now, what he said, well, he said, excuse me, I said to him, think about the podcast now so whenever he thinks about it he cries so he thought about the podcast he didn't cry and he said to me and this is something which happens quite a lot he said well i need to go and listen to it or i need to time to think about it now that would be like me taking my computer to a computer technician or working with someone like a software uh, a website engineer telling them i have a problem with my website them going back into the code in the background and then uh, removing the faulty code. And then they say to me, okay, now look at the website, how is it? And it's different, it's better. But then I say, well, I'm gonna have to take my computer home and use it a little bit to see if it's changed. The computer guy would go, what? I've just changed it. It's different, it's changed. Uh, but the, it's still, there's, we're a long way away from a paradigm shift in the way we work with the mind. So I understand that it's a bit too quick for a lot of people. You know, the way I work with, with a client is like I'm working with a computer and most uh, therapy is based on talking and then it takes time, healing takes time. Well, that was, that comes from a time when there were no computers and when you sent in a letter, it would take a few months to get there. Now we send an email, it's instant, right? So as within, as without. Anyway, so this morning I spoke to this guy and he, he, uh, he said, he, he, he almost was a little bit, not embarrassed, but definitely confused. He said, Rob, I listened to the, the podcast and it didn't affect me anymore, like nothing. I said, yeah, of course. And he was like, but I don't understand. I said, what happened was you empathize with the person who's doing the podcast, who hasn't resolved their issue. 
and you downloaded it and you didn't know that so you didn't know you downloaded their emotional files <clears throat> and you were running them as your own the moment I told you so it's a little bit like a neural tag in the brain when he thinks about the podcast it connects with the emotional pain of the podcast person so I said the moment I told you you'd done that your physical intelligence understood that those files weren't yours and removed them or dissolved them and uh, it's almost like a code coding issue and now it no longer affects him and he goes but like he's very very smart and, and logical and I said listen you need to start understanding that this happens all the time even with psychopaths I've worked with psychopaths and when I mean that they're not serial killers they're just they have no compassion for others and they kind of know it they're very high up in business was, your psychopaths are very good at business are very good at rising to the top because they don't really care about other people <clears throat> although it becomes a, an issue later on um, even, and I've worked with those kind of people and they 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 don't really do emotion or anything but they can still download other people's stuff so empathizing is another word for saying downloading of information from others so it's a skill set but most people don't know that and they don't know they're doing it and so they get screwed up and I've worked with I've worked with people geez that absolutely wrecks their life absolutely wrecks them physically I had a woman she was dying in London no one could do anything no doctors I was called in uh, I did a couple of sessions with her she's fine uh, she was just um, just kind of the internet was downloading too much stuff onto a computer it was a little bit more complicated than that but fundamentally that was it and she stopped doing it and she's fine so um, yeah it's, it's just really interesting you guys um, whoever you are watching this uh, thanks for watching you'll be empathizing so a kind of a, an interesting way you can uh, a little technique um, fundamentally you want to learn um, how to really understand what's coming in and what's not yours and what's other people's stuff and how to resolve it that's why i set up my school online school meditation os meditation you understand is checking in with yourself os stands for your operating system so it's like an upgraded uh, meditation system if you want to know more just dm me um the when when you're troubled by a situation or, or you're with someone and you're because this happens all the time and you'll say you're angry with someone or you're worried anxious anxiety is a big one when you think about the situation you can ask yourself is this me or them and them could be multiple people uh, I worked with an executive the week before he was suffering from real anxiety about, about going back to work and he was picking up on the anxiety of the upper management at the company the moment he realized that no more anxiety so, uh, empathy kills <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing with it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, uh, please like it, it really helps. And subscribe to my channel for new videos. And I'm going to go do my run and enjoy the rest of this Saturday. Take care.